Here is what happens to you if you start using baking soda every day. You probably have a jar of baking soda at home, which you sometimes use as an ingredient for cakes. In fact, when baking soda combines with acidic substances, it evaporates and produces carbon dioxide. Perfect for quickly cooking cakes. But I'm sure you'll be as surprised as me when you realize how many potential uses baking soda can have, both for your health and for home care. In this video, we will see together how many uses baking soda can have for your health and your life. Baking soda is a very inexpensive substance found in all Italian homes. In nature, baking soda is obtained by extraction. The major deposits in Italy are located in Tuscany. However, it can also be produced on an industrial scale by combining carbon dioxide, ammonia and sodium chloride. This reaction produces ammonium chloride and baking soda. The process was first invented by Solvay in 1863, which is why Solvay baking soda is found on supermarket shelves. Let's look at the main uses of bicarbonates together. The first is at the health level. Bicarbonates are used at the health level because they have a very high pH and are alkaline, which helps to counteract the acidic conditions in which bacteria tend to grow. For this reason, some studies have confirmed that baking soda can alleviate canker sores. Canker sores are small, painful mouth ulcers that form in the mouth after eating a diet rich in processed foods and monosaccharides. In these cases, studies have shown that rinsing with a solution of water and baking soda relieves pain and accelerates healing. A second benefit of baking soda, if rinsed daily with water, concerns physical performance levels. In fact, it is a household staple for many athletes who undergo long periods of high-intensity physical exercise. During high-intensity physical exercise, muscles produce lactic acid. Lactic acid is precisely the acid that lowers intracellular pH and causes an annoying muscle pain that prompts you to stop. It is precisely in these circumstances that the integration of bicarbonate can help reduce acidity, allowing for better performance under stress. In fact, an interesting study on cyclists found that cyclists who took a baking soda supplement were able to train four or five minutes longer than cyclists who did not take baking soda. On a practical level, cyclists should take 0.3 grams of baking soda per kilogram of body weight about one or two hours before training. This means that a person weighing 70 kilo should take about 25-30 grams of baking soda one, two hours before exercise. A third use of baking soda for health is to relieve itching and sunburns. For example, if you've been stung by a bee, you have severe itching or you have a nettle rash on your hand. A bath with baking soda can relieve the itching, similar to what you do after a sea bath for sunburns. Adding 200-250 grind of baking soda to the bath can reduce discomfort and speed up the body's repair and healing process. A fourth benefit of baking soda is that it increases the efficacy of anti-tumor drugs. Today, cancer is treated with chemotherapy, a cocktail of drugs that slow down and kill tumor cells. However, it has been shown that the addition of baking soda fights and reduces the acidic environment in which tumors normally grow and multiply. Animal and in vitro studies have confirmed these effects, but there are still no human studies. Therefore, before using it, it is best to consult your oncologist. Finally, two uncertain uses of baking soda are kidney problems and heartburn. As for kidney problems, it has been found that baking soda can slow the progression of degeneration. However, also in this case, it is still a hypothesis to be confirmed, since the studies are few. Therefore, do not take baking soda on your own. If you have kidney problems, do not judge yourself, but consult your nephrologist before deciding whether to add more. The same goes for heartburn. Let's explore this topic further because it is actually a household use for many people to relieve heartburn after overeating. It is believed that heartburn is caused by too much gastric acid, which causes reflux, also known as gastroesophageal reflux, which is an unpleasant sensation. For this reason, the overloading of gastric acids can be neutralized by taking a basic substance such as sodium bicarbonate. However, looking deeper, the problem of gastroesophageal reflux is probably due to the fact that the stomach's acidity is not enough to properly digest substances as it should. The solution in these cases is therefore to modify the diet to restore a stomach acidic enough to properly digest all foods. Sodium bicarbonate can provide temporary relief, but it is not very effective in the long run. To learn more about heartburn and gastroesophageal reflux, watch this video. However, if there is one use of baking soda that I strongly recommend, it is oral hygiene. Oral hygiene is very important because it is the body's first barrier against external pathogens. It is in this situation that baking soda can be used very effectively. 
mouthwash can help oral hygiene because it manages to reach the tongue and tooth gaps, where the toothbrush cannot reach. Some studies have shown that the preparation of a mouthwash with baking soda and water is very effective because it kills all the external pathogen bacteria that lurk in the tooth gaps. How to do it is simple. Just add half a teaspoon, two grams of baking soda to half a glass, 120 milliliters or less of water. Mix everything, keep it in your mouth, rinse and then spit to get the benefits of this great tool. It has the same effect on teeth whitening. In fact, tooth whitening has shown that bicarbonates, due to their shape and abrasive capacity, are ideal for adhering to tooth stains and promoting tooth whitening. On the one hand, they have a mechanical polishing effect. On the other, they also possess antibacterial and antifungal properties which, if combined, translate into whiter, more beautiful and healthier teeth. If oral hygiene is important, personal hygiene is fundamental. This is where baking soda can be used very effectively. For example, baking soda is used as a deodorant for the armpits, where bacteria can easily grow and cause bad odors. I underline it three times, because in my personal experience, when I learned to use baking soda on my sneakers, it really was a lifesaver. As anyone who plays sports will have experienced, no matter what type of shoe, no matter what sole you put on, no matter how much you keep it clean with spray, after a few months it will start to stink. The reason is not so much that sweat has a bad smell, as that sweat has a bad smell. In fact, in a humid and warm environment, bacteria multiply easily, generating a bad smell. The bad smell of sweat is due to the proliferation of bacteria and foul-smelling clothes. Therefore, it is the armpit fabrics that stink. The fabric of the shoes is covered with microorganisms that give off a bad smell, which is then transmitted to the feet. However, the use of baking soda in the armpits, especially in shoes, can reduce and eliminate excess bacteria that cause bad odors. Baking soda doesn't mask odors, but eliminates them because it acts on the very bacteria that produce bad odors. And it is precisely for this very useful effect that it can be used at home. Where in the refrigerator. Fill a large glass with baking soda and leave it there to prevent bad odors if food spoils and you don't notice. Baking soda can also be placed in the trash can at the bottom of the refrigerator. If you sprinkle a small amount of baking soda on food waste, oil drips or putrid liquid falling will be neutralized by contact with the baking soda and the bad smell characteristic of food waste, especially in case of rain, will disappear. Finally, it can also be used as a room deodorizer. In this case, it can be used in combination with essential drops. How to do it? Put 75g of baking soda and 10-15 drops of essential oil in a small jar, close it with a cloth and put it in the room. You will notice that the good smell of the essential oils and baking soda slowly cleans the house and the environment. If you notice that the good smell fades, simply shake the bottle to restore the good smell. This solution is especially indicated if you suffer from allergies or if you have respiratory problems caused by household cleaning products. Today we know that the most harmful environment for breathing and lungs is the house, as we have seen in another video. Replacing these chemicals with baking soda will create a clean, healthy and beautiful house, familiar to our body and not harmful to our health. Finally, let's examine the many other situations where baking soda can be used effectively. For example, it can be used to whiten laundry and fight mold. If you have a corner of the house prone to mold, the addition of vinegar can be very helpful. It can also be used as a whitener for carpets and as an insecticide to wash fruits and vegetables. This is interesting. In fact, it has been shown that washing fruits and vegetables with baking soda is the most effective way to remove all the chemicals normally used in agriculture. It can also be used to remove crusts from the bottom of burnt pans. When baking soda and vinegar are added together, they form beautiful bubbles that look like volcanoes and children's eyes widen with joy. Baking soda is convenient, healthy, inexpensive and very good for your health. So buy it, keep it at home and use it for all occasions, not just for sweets. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and share this video. See you tomorrow for another video. Bye bye.